Our kitchen has a breakfast bar, but we don't have any bar stools. So I decided that I would try to make a bar stool or two. So I have some walnut laying around. Unfortunately, it's a rough cut. So I had to plane it and trim it to the size I wanted. Unfortunately, it's really, really hot. I had to put a <laughs> wrap a t-shirt around my head because uh, I was literally, literally dripping sweat on the wood and on my plane. And it was now my plane is corroded. So I had some slabs that uh, I decided to cut up for the, the top, or the seat portion. I had to plane that as well. And it was so hot. And at this point, I started to feel kind of nauseous, and I had a headache. So I decided to call it for a day. I just got overheated. So I came back the next day and rounded the corners off on the seat with the plane. It was looking really nice. So I decided to make mortise and tenon joints on the underside of the seat. So I took a piece of paper to make sure they were square to mark out the edges. I cut the mortises with a hammer and chisel. Unfortunately, I had a blowout, <laughs> but that didn't let that deter me. And I didn't really have a plan. I was just kind of making it up as I went along. So I decided to make half lap joints for both the legs and the, the cross braces and footrests. Unfortunately, my joints were pretty sloppy. Uh, I glued them up anyway. Um, but I decided to make another cross brace to increase the structural integrity of the stool so it didn't fall apart if someone was sitting on it. So again, I'm just cutting the half laps with uh, a saw and a chisel and a hammer. And once they were glued up, I cut the half laps for the footrests. For the footrests, I'm using some mystery wood that I got from a neighbor. I milled it up myself, but I don't know what it is. But once I had one done, I kind of set it aside. It's so hot every day. And I took a break to build a workbench, which you can see in another video. So this is a couple of weeks later now. I just smoothed all the joints that I glued up with the plane, cut the other half laps for the the other foot rest, and then glued it up. So once the glue dried, it wasn't quite flat on the bottom. That's no problem, nothing a, a sanding wouldn't fix. So I rounded off all the corners uh, with rasp, and then sanded it, and then put some wipe on polyurethane. It certainly wasn't perfect, but I really like the results. 